Hello everyone, what- <coughs> Hello all Endercraft members and welcome back to the official Season 8 Shopping District Grand Opening! Woohoo! Total of one Endercraft member, Rusty, off in the deep dark doing who knows what. I move on to the red carpet opening! Rusty, then it by Demonic Institute. Yay! Yay! Welcome one and all, the Endercraft Season 8 Shopping District taking place in the grand old dark demented wasteland that is the Nether. Notice there are already some pre-made shops in this place. You may be also wondering, which shop can I have? Which shop can I can I choose? Well, guess what, Buckaroo? You don't choose your shops, you fight for your shops. Each of you is going to receive a stack of Gizmonic bidding tokens. And every single one of you that is here. And at each location, we will be doing a starting bid. You know how bidding works. Let's just get this started. For the Oak Shop, starting bid, 10 Gizmonic bidding tokens. Do I see 10? I hear. All right, one for 10. Any, anyone else want a teen? Any? 13? Uh, sold! Plinko! <laughs> now, for the third shop on this round, starting bid will start off at 15 Gizmonic bidding tokens. Do I hear 15 bidding tokens? 15? You in the back, sir? You, you? 13 tokens. Not eight. Three. Okay. You, young sir. What, what do you think of your shop presented to you by Gizmodic Institute? I think it's absolutely beautiful. A little pricey if you ask me, but yeah, I think it was beautiful. <gasps> I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Uh... Okay, so I did a little bit of sorting. I cleaned up the center here. I moved my beacon from over here and shoved it in a hole here. And I dug out a four, the two by two uh, hole up here. So, cause I want, cause so, cause I, I dug a two by two hole up there because I want to put two or th sorry, three more beacons here. So we have one for haste, one for speed, one for jump boost, and then resistance or strength, depending on what I want. Uh, probably resistance for fall damage reduction. If that is a thing, probably not. I uh, did some more path work here as well. I filled the path out all the way over here and then filled the path up to the staircase over here. And I still need to fill the path right here. I changed and swapped out the torches for the lanterns because it looks a lot nicer and it fits the cave theme a lot more in my opinion. This centerpiece, I don't 100% know what I want to do with the center but what I think I want to try and do is with deep slate try and see if I can make like a some sort of pile or pillar of some sort in the middle here where I can put stuff like the different types of ores the deep slate specific ores so like diamond for example or gold and maybe this but maybe just these two and if I f ever find an emerald deep slate ore I would put it on here and stuff like that I think that would look super super good and obviously we need to leave this uh centerpiece out here because that's obviously where the uh that is where the beacon will go and then we could take stuff like our diamond ore and our gold ore because of the two ore blocks i actually have right now and we can throw different sections of just different ores in here showing them off and kind of just nice detailed texture thing to do i guess i don't really Super no. Another thing I want to do is I want to put a sorter selector system here. So what I mean by that is if we come over here, down here, I did a little test or where I wanted to put one, but I realized I didn't have the most amount of space ever. This system selects certain items or and unlocks the hopper to allow for that item to go through into the system to go into this, the shulker box loader from here. When the shulker box unloader unloads shulker boxes, certain items I want to be put into shulker boxes. So say I'm unloading stone from here right now, I could set this filter to stone and this will allow for the stone filter to be unlocked, meaning that we will be sucking stone out here and putting it into a shulker box, then putting it in the shulker box system and everything else will be taken and thrown into the basic regular item storage system. Or let's say I went out mining um, gravel. We flip the page to gravel. The stone one gets unpowered because this block is taken out of the way of here. So we don't care. As you saw in the first clip, I am now the proud owner of this beautiful shop right here. Uh, I can customize this however I want. This isn't how it's supposed to look. Well, it's how it's supposed to look at the very moment. It's supposed to prompt creativity. 
So Pixel says. So I'm not really too sure what I want to do or what I want this to look like or what I want to sell for that matter. In a future episode, we'll probably do something with this, but not today because I really don't know what I want to do with it. What? I can... You can fit a boat through that little gap? Oh, no, you can't. How did I do that? Huh? Strange things aside, uh, I built the smelting system. I finished it up. I finally got all of the iron that I needed for it, and I've set up a uh, majority of the mine carts. I didn't finish, apparently. I didn't do this roll. I think this will most likely be connected to, I don't know, I'd like to say the, the, the bamboo farm, because that has also got a little bit of a progress update on it. I threw some bamboo, or whatever bamboo I had into this. So I've got a little bit of bamboo. I'm just kind of letting it grow up a little bit so I can break it down and fill in the rest of this space. I I still haven't made a flying machine for that yet, but I'll get to it at some point. I also built a little tiny carrot plot here because I was like on my last stack of golden carrots by that last clip. So, and I just finished crafting up a bunch of golden carrots and now I've got plenty of those to go around. I also did a little end rating and I came out with many, many shulker shells and uh, quite a few elytras. I got a little, I got an idea. I got an idea. We're going to do something real quick. It's going to be super cool and super sick. Trust me. Look at this face. How could you not trust this face? There, isn't he just perfect? No, no, I'm kidding. I'm getting. I'm getting. I'm getting. Or am I? Yes. Who's not sick anymore? Well, still a little bit sick, but that doesn't mean I didn't do nothing. I pretty much did nothing but sit on the couch for the last week straight. But, you know, I did some progress related stuff. I worked a little bit more on the inside here. I did a little bit more detailing up here. Uh, as you can very beautifully clearly see, I detailed the walls a little bit. Well, I started to. Obviously, I've still got to go through it and do like the more fine-tuned details with uh, the leaves and such as I've done like here and there and what have you. Another thing I did, the big thing I did was this. I went and built one of the buildings that I um, had plan to build so this is what it looks like it's not 100 percent done yet because i don't exactly have all the resources needed to build it what i need now is more spruce wood so i can get these spruce trap doors because they're supposed to be um i don't really know what i would explain it as it's just a decorative thing to break up just the flat texture of this so we're using trap doors like kind of like a grid pattern or some sort of weird i also started designing well making a making a stone shape of the next building i kind of wanted to build or the my plan for a building i don't exactly quite remember what i was going for with this but it's a very tall building i don't think this building is as tall as that building this one's like 90 something blocks tall this one is something like 64 ish blocks maybe a little taller than 64 blocks somewhere around there and i think it would fit the best right here that's what i deemed anyway i also did some uh road work starting to throw in some uh the road stuff to see how i want to get the road kind of the look and i think this looks super good the reason i haven't actually filled in this section right here is because i was thinking because i have this giant crack right here i can make the road look like it's collapsed down into here some way shape or form i'm not really too sure how i would do that but that's what i think would look cool i could still continue to fly in and out of this hole which is seems to be what my number one way of getting into my hole i updated the map here so from where we began when we first set up this house right here is this we got that and then it goes to this where we got like this coming around in the layout and then we got this where we actually properly got the road i made the map just before i put in the uh concrete here the concrete powder so it just you don't see that on the map but that's okay you do see the new building that we built there's it's obviously not done other than this i still need to build the base part of the building down here so i have to figure that out i'm not super sure what i want to do with the base of it i was thinking very much uh i feel like maybe run down might look good i'm not super sure i'd have to throw some stuff together and see how that would look so I think that'll do it for this episode. This episode, I know, I'm sorry, it's very, very, very short, and it's taken a while to make. That's, uh, well, my bad, but also not my bad because I got sick, and there's nothing much I could do about it except sit around and take lots of drugs and try and make the <laughs> the cold go away, but it's it's gone away for the most part now. I still have remnants of it. I'm more of a Thick to the stomach and thick to the stomach. I'm more of a sick to the stomach right now, and I haven't been eating very much the last few days. Pretty much the last like four or five days after the cold finished, I was pretty much just stuck on the couch because, yeah standing and walking around and stuff like that just made me feel sick to my stomach i'm feeling a little bit better today 
not super amounts better but enough to actually get some recording done and hopefully get this video out to you guys so if you enjoyed do hit the like button down below if you're brand new consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next one i have become one with the ender chest i have become one with the chest <laughs>